Hello, my name is Amritam and today we will do a breaking point quick test demo. Breaking point quick test is an exciting new product that uh, has several unique features that we have not seen in any other uh, test products up to now. Hopefully with this demo I'll be able to cover some of these unique features of, the, of breaking point quick test. Before we dive into the demo itself, let's have a very quick background of the initial test and the setup that we'll be using here. We'll have a perfect storm one as a traffic generator connected to a next generation firewall DUT and the initial setup has no policies at all. So the DUT is kind of in a pass through mode and the perfect storm one is simulating into the client and the server. So this is the breaking point quick test uh, screen. Once you log in, this is what you see. These are the, some of the recent run tests. These are the different suits. These are all prepared from uh, Ixia's engineering teams, pre-researched application traffic, uh, security traffic, a mix of uh, both traffic. You know, you can see NetSec open suit and several other types of suits that are uh, present uh, in the breaking point quick tests. For this particular test, we will run the performance suit. So in the performance suit, we have several categories, uh, but we have just taken one mix, which is a mix of all social media. Uh, we will try to get 10 gigs of uh, throughput of this app mix. The environment is, as I mentioned, it's a perfect storms. One port simulating the client and the other simulating the server, and they go through a device under test. So let's go back and start the test. Once the test starts, you see this flag. This flag basically tells what's happening. So this is basically uh, initializing this test and uh, we are in the initialization phase. Uh, and after that, hopefully we'll have some uh, traffic uh, going through. Okay, we see the test has started generating the traffic and you see all these meters going up and down, down. So it's the TX and RX. If I scroll down, we'll also see the connections per second, concurrent connections and average latencies. So we are slowly pushing up the traffic and very quickly we reach this 10 gig level. We are using only one uh, port of the perfect storm for client and one port for server. So 10 gig is kind of its max that it can do. Uh, and hopefully the duty can do much more than that. So let the uh, traffic run and come to its completion. And then we will trigger the subsequent tests. Okay, the test ran for the sustained duration. And after the sustained duration is over, it ramped down and you can see we got an awesome performance. Obviously the duty is much more powerful and it can handle 10 gig throughput in pass through mode quite easily. Since the duty can handle 10 gig easily in pass through mode, let's add some policies in the duty and see what is the performance impact of those policies. So in this duty, now we have added these four additional policies of antivirus check, application control, intrusion prevention systems, and certificate inspection. So all of these has been applied. And now we'll go back to our test and rerun the test again. So we are back to the screen where we started. The test had got 10 gig. Now we'll run it again. But now the more there are several other policies that has been applied. So I see the initialization has started as indicated by this flag. We'll wait for this test to complete its run and see how the results goes. So I have let this test run till its very end. And as you can see, we are not getting 10 gig anymore. So we are getting somewhere around 8,000 uh, megabytes TX and the connection rate also has reduced a bit. This is probably the DUT's limits because we know this perfect storm itself can do 10 gig with this app mix. And after the enabling the controls in duty, we are getting a less performance. So probably with the 100 subscribers that we have used in this particular test, uh, 8 gig is the max that the DUT can do. And we, we are able to find that out using this uh, quick breaking point quick test and understand the impacts of new features and controls uh, that you add in a DUT. So we take a quick look at the report itself once we have uh, enabled the additional policies. And as you can see, we are getting, uh, we're still getting an A because we're still within an 80% uh, degrade, uh, between 80 to 100%. Uh, and uh, however, we are still definitely not getting 10 gig. Now, as we saw in this, in this demo, that with the additional policies, uh, the DUT could do uh, around 8 gig with the app mix, uh, social media app mix, and around 100 subscribers. But as I mentioned earlier, that this product 
breaking point quick test has a lot more other unique features and to see some of those features we need to add some more disturbances within that qt so to do that i have also introduced additional perfect storms that will create some kinds of background traffic to, to load up the data plane uh, of the darts incrementally so let's do that now so this is our primary perfect storm which is set to a 10 gig throughput of map app mix of social media I'm introducing the first background traffic to be another perfect storm, but this has these guardrails where we set up instead of the 10 gig, we have set up 2500 meg. So what basically it will do when I start this test is try to push additional 2500 meg through the DUT with 100 more subscribers. And the test has already started and we will also start our main test uh, with this run again button. Now both the tests have started almost simultaneously and this is our main perfect storm trying to achieve 10 gig and you see we are getting rate limited where the other one which is set to 2500 meg is being able to achieve near about that. So the background traffic is definitely causing some effects. So previously where we were getting around 8 gigs we are getting somewhere around uh, 6, 6.4 gigs. Uh, this is with 100 subscribers and our background traffic is also running with 100 subscribers. So the test came to a halt and we see with the 2500 mega Mbps of background traffic, our main perfect storm can only achieve somewhere around 6.2, 6.3 gigs. And you see the grid also occur accordingly degrades from A to B. And we will see this reflected in the observations and, uh, and so on. What we now do is continuously increase the background traffic at an um, increment of 2500 megabits per second and 100 subscribers uh, each and see how it affects these tests. So we finished all the tests uh, right now and let's quickly see all the results, okay? So if you remember, this was the first test we ran without any policies. The DUT was in pass-through mode and we got 10 gig easy. Then we ran the next test where we enabled some policies in the DOTs like antivirus, application control, packet inspection, and things like that. And we see we got a steady rate of around 8.1 gig Gbps. And after that, when we started making things even more interesting, first time we added a background traffic of around 2,500 meg with 100 more subscribers. And we see we got traffic of around 6.2 gigs, um, a definite reduction in the amount of traffic we get. Then we added another uh, background traffic of 2,500 me megabits more and uh, 100 more subscribers. And we see there is a re steady reduction as well with 5.6, 5.7 gigs. Now we are getting um, uh, as a steady state traffic. And after that, we added another additional 2,500 meg with 100 more subscribers. And we see what we got is uh, somewhere around 4,400, 4,500 megabits per second of steady state traffic. And finally, this is where we are almost adding a gig of background traffic and uh, around 400 more su additional subscribers. And we get somewhere around three gigs now is the time for the epic finale where we will be adding so much of background traffic that the duty is clearly oversubscribed and we will monitor how quick test reacts automatically in that kind of highly oversubscribed unstable situations let's start the background traffic first Okay, I have triggered all the background traffic in the ba uh, and uh, I have 500 more subscribers in the background. Now let's start our main uh, traffic again. This is still trying to get 10 gigs of traffic and we have uh, close to 12.5 uh, gigs of background traffic being attempted against the same DUT. So it's an unstable, very chaotic environment and let's uh, see how uh, breaking point quick test uh, applies itself and tries to get stability in such kind of oversubscribed DUT scenarios. The test has started uh, ramping up and you see the ramp ups have really slowed down because the automation intelligently recognizes a slower rate, the uh, dud being slowed down, hence the ramp ups are not as quick enough anymore. 
and you see it slowly trying to reaching out, reach out to whatever performance it can get it tr obviously tries to achieve this uh, objective but with so much of background traffic that's that's a big challenge for the DUT to achieve so let's see what it does now there you go some very interesting thing has started happening the automation is now realizing the TX and RX are separating apart and it's not able to achieve a steady traffic. It's a chaotic situation. So it notes the point where this chaos really started happening and basically stops this test in an automatic fashion. And if you see what it's trying to do now, it's trying to stabilize it at the point where things did not go to the chaotic level. So it clearly sees it can cannot go beyond a 1400, 1500 level. So it stops the tests and now tries to adjust at this 1400 level and sees if, if we get stability here. So this is one of the unique feature where the tests are not only being designed with applications to create test realistic scenarios, it's also designed to recalibrate, understand and recalibrate itself depending on the situations and see where is the sweet spot uh, to accurately pinpoint the exact performance of the duty in whatever conditions, whatever types of duty it may be. So let's hope that at 1400, we get stable uh, stability. So the new calibrated stats test has started again. And this time, instead of reaching for 10 gigs, it's probably, it's trying to reach at 1400 meg. And sure enough, it has reached somewhere there and it's, it's stabilizing. We don't see those issues anymore, even though the background traffic is still on. Uh, we know that the duty still had some bandwidth with this particular 100 subscribers to go up to 1400 megabits while, they, while it's being pumped with a ridiculous amount of background traffic uh, by the other perfect storms. The test is coming to a halt. And sure enough, we got stability with this 1400 megs and uh, very soon we will see the reports uh, we got an e of course because we this was still trying to achieve 10 gigs and you see that uh, if you uh, go back and uh, zoom in and you'll see what happened what led to this uh, reanalysis and why it went to this stabilization that entire records are there in this timeline so the user will know what exactly it tried to attempt where exactly it started going wrong and why it attempted a lower performance so there you have it pre-crafted, pre-created suits by Ixia's engineers and QAs to achieve different types of performances. Apart from just running the test, the, um, the tool also calibrates continuously assesses for failures, different types of situations, and provides accurately the actual performance achieved by the duties and apart from just the performance it also provides things like recommendations um, what kind of observations and uh, many other information ma making testing a piece of cake i would like to thank you for listening